Aside from their screen sizes, the iPhone 12 and iPhone 11 Pro Max are pretty much the same device under the hood. They both come paired with four gigs of LPDDR4X RAM. They both have NVMe storage and they both have an A Bionic chip. However, the iPhone 12 has the brand spanking new A14 Bionic chip as opposed to the A13 Bionic chip found in the 11 Pro Max. The 11 Pro Max's A13 Bionic can reach a max clock speed of 2.65 gigahertz while the iPhone 12's A14 can go all the way up to 3.1. We have updated them both to the latest iOS 14.1 software. Round one is gonna be all about boot and facial recognition. Round two is gonna be all about initial opening app speed and round three will be all about RAM management. Using my fingers over here, so we pop in GoPro footage at the bottom left hand corner for accuracy. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start with a simple boot here in round one to see which one can turn on the device faster. The first point gets allocated to the iPhone 12 here, doing it in 13 seconds, 10 seconds slower than that, the 11 Pro Max at 23 seconds. Going into the phone itself, refreshing the actual app icons, the iPhone 12 picks up its second point. It was too close to call using Face ID the first time around. The iPhone 12 beat the 11 Pro Max the second time around and was too close to call the third time around. So the iPhone 12 got one out of three wins over there, picking up its third and final points in round one. Making sure we're hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network, max brightness, and all apps are closed in the background. We're gonna start round two with the camera app. Opening it up, it was too close to call. Switching to the selfie camera, however, the iPhone 12 was slightly quick over there. The iPhone 11 Pro Max and 12 took the picture at pretty much the same time, but the iPhone 12 got the point because it actually said save to gallery at the bottom left hand corner. It displayed the thumbnail quicker than it did on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It was too close to call in the photos app over there, going into it and opening up a picture. And then going into the calculator app once more, too close to call there. Going into the phone app over here, it was very, very, similar but the iPhone 12 was a tad quicker and the settings app once again was too close to call between the wonderful A14 and A13 Bionic chipsets respectively. iPhone 12 picks up its fourth point now in round two of here opening up speed check and internet speed test slightly faster than the 11 Pro Max. We're not testing our download upload rates over here more so how long it actually takes to do the test. 23 seconds on the 12, 26.5 seconds on the 11 Pro Max getting the iPhone 12 its fifth point in round two. Going into Spotify, the iPhone 12 picks up its sixth point, but guys, these opening app speeds are so close to each other. I'm just stating the obvious over here, which one is indeed opening up faster. I usually use Photoshop Express in order to export a picture via the selfie we took earlier, but it's actually giving quite a few errors on the iPhone 12 when I did film this test. So I had to use Photoshop Fix over here, pretty much the same thing you just fix some blemishes on your face. I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna export the photo that we recently took using the selfie camera. Save it to camera roll and it was so close over there, way too close to call, no point was allocated that time around. Now we're gonna go into Premiere Rush. Oh, and by the way, we actually did have the 11 Pro Max open up the Photoshop app slightly quicker than we saw on the iPhone 12. But the iPhone 12 opened up Adobe Premiere Rush, a video editing app slightly quicker. And the 11 Pro Max went into the project quicker, but the 12 loaded the entire project faster. So no point was allocated over here. Seven points so far for the iPhone 12 as opposed to one on the iPhone 11. Pro Max. Now we're gonna take this 4K 25 frames per second file, export it and compress it down to 1080p, match the frame rate of 25 FPS. I'm not gonna speed it up because iPhone's NVMe storage is always class A over here. So we're gonna hit export and see which one can do it quicker. It is so neck and neck over here. We had a little bit of jitteriness on the 11 Pro Max, four seconds on the iPhone 12, 4.5 on the 11 Pro Max. Honestly, not much of a difference there. I wouldn't suggest you upgrade just for video exports. The NVMe storage on both of these devices are great. They both open up Astro at the same time, but the iPhone 12 turned it on slightly quicker over there. And going into Facebook, the iPhone 12 opened it up quicker and loaded the page quicker. Now going into double digits with 10 points, as opposed to the single point that the iPhone 11 Pro Max got when we opened up Photoshop earlier on. Instagram was too close to call and going into Twitter, the iPhone 12 picks up its 11th point over there. Now 10 points ahead of its older brother, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Going into YouTube over here, which one can take it? The iPhone 12 grabs its 12th point, no pun intended there. And jumping into my channel, which one can do it? The iPhone 12, once again, slightly quicker, picking up its 13th point. Going into one of my videos, however, it seemed like the iPhone 12 was gonna get there quicker, but the iPhone 11 Pro Max loaded the page quicker and started playing the video quicker, picking up its 
second points in round two. Now we're gonna jump into Netflix over here and let's see which one can get to the profile section. First, it is indeed the iPhone 12 and going into my actual profile was too close to call. Next app that we have to open up here is indeed Google Chrome and jumping into that one, the iPhone 12 was just a smidge quicker than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Going into Subway Surfers, our first game of four here, which one can open up a game faster? This is pretty much what most of you guys are here for. The 11 Pro Max actually opened up Subway Surfers quicker than the iPhone 12. Let's see if it can do the same thing with the next three games. So, so far three points for the 11 Pro Max as opposed to 15 on the iPhone 12. Going into flip diving over here, the iPhone 12 quickly snapped back and picked up its 16th points, opening up that game quicker. And the next game that we have is in Detail run two sped it up bottom right hand corner slowed it back down iphone 12 once again picking up another point opening up a game quicker than the 11 pro max 11 pro max did indeed open up subway surface quicker but the 12 opened up the next two games quicker now the most graphics intense longest loading game pubg mobile always loads quick on iphones the iphone 12 picks it up in just 10 seconds opens up the app as opposed to 11.5 seconds on the 11 pro max honestly not much of a difference in terms of raw speed over there and talking about the ram management we have four gigs of lpddr4x ram on both of these phones. The iPhone 12 has kept open the Photos app as well as Photoshop Fix in the background where the iPhone 11 Pro Max has actually killed those ones. And so far, they're keeping the rest of the apps open. No sweat over here, even with four gigs of RAM. Xiaomi needs to learn a thing or two from iPhone over here. Total score that we have is indeed 23 for the iPhone 12 as opposed to just three points on the 11 Pro Max. We look at just raw performance, raw speed, focus on round two, 18 points for the iPhone 12 as opposed to three points for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It might look like the iPhone 12 is better on paper, especially considering this crazy score difference, but the 11 Pro Max is still nice and snappy, so I recommend waiting for the next iPhone.